In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to customize and add new blocks to your Shopify store footer. Your footer is an extremely helpful section that contains tons of details and information about your store. It can contain several sections, including a navigation menu, payment options, links to your social media brand pages, and even a newsletter sign up. Your footer will be displayed on all pages of your online store, so make sure you keep this in mind when customizing. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to customize your online store footer. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you unlock your free trial by heading over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This should take you to your Shopify account dashboard. To customize your theme, let's start by clicking the online store tab from the menu on the left hand side. This should take you to the Shopify themes menu. For this demonstration, I'll be using the popular Dawn theme. So to customize my theme, let's look at the bottom right hand side here and click the customize button. This will take you over to the Shopify theme editor. To view the footer section, let's go to the menu on the left and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here's where you'll find the section where you can customize your footer. And from your theme preview on the right, you'll see a preview of your footer at the bottom as well. If you take a look at the footer section on the left, you'll notice that there are several customization options. You have the ability to add new sections or personalize your footer by adding blocks. So let's start by clicking the add section tab here and see what different sections we can add to our footer. As you can see, there are two different sections available for your footer, which includes a custom liquid section and an email sign up. With the custom liquid section, you can add your own liquid code to create advanced customizations. I don't think I need that for my store, but I will select the second tab here to add an email sign up. When you select the email sign up tab, you'll notice the email sign up menu appear on the left and a preview of the section appear on the right. To edit the email sign up layout and settings, simply click the email sign up main tab. This will open up a menu where you can select the color scheme for your email sign up, adjust the padding, and select other settings. Feel free to adjust whatever you like, and once you're finished, go back up to the top here and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. Under the email sign up drop down menu, I can click the first tab here to edit my email sign up heading. From here, you can change your heading to whatever you like and also adjust your heading size. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button. From the next tab here underneath email sign up, I can edit my subheading. In the text field up top here, you can add a description for your email sign up. Feel free to write whatever you like, but if you're having trouble coming up with something, you can use the Shopify AI tool to help write the description for you. To write your description with AI, let's look at the toolbar up top and click the generative text icon on the far left. In the text field here, simply describe whatever it is you want the AI to write for you. And from the drop down menu at the bottom here, you can select the tone of your description. For the tone of my newsletter sign up, I think I'll select persuasive. So once you describe what you want and add your tone, go ahead and click the generate button at the bottom. And the AI will instantly provide me with three suggestions that I can use for my description. Feel free to read over the suggestions and select the one that you like best. Once you make a selection, it'll be added to your email sign up subheading. Keep in mind, you can edit your AI generated text any way that you like using the text field on the left here. But once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button to head back to the theme editor main menu. And my email sign up has been customized. When visitors subscribe, they'll automatically be added to your accepted marketing customer list. So now, let's collapse the email sign up tab and focus on the main footer section. First, let's go all the way down to the bottom of the menu on the left and click the footer main tab to check out our footer customization options. At the top here, you can adjust your footer color scheme if you wish. When selecting your color scheme, make sure it complements the rest of your store. And keep in mind, you can customize any of the color schemes even further by clicking the edit tab here. In the next section, you have the option to add an email sign up to the footer itself. If you want to show your email sign up, make sure you have the checkbox selected and you can use the text field here to edit your heading. But since I've already added an email sign up section, I'm going to click the checkbox to remove the email sign up from my footer. Underneath your heading text field, you'll see a section where you can add the follow on shop button to your footer. This will allow customers to follow your store on the shop app directly from your storefront. But keep in mind, you must have shop pay enabled. Next, you'll see a section where you can add your social media icons to your footer. 
If you select the checkbox here, you'll see icons for all your social media brand pages that you've added appear on the right hand side of your footer. If you still need to add your brand pages to Shopify, you can easily do this by clicking the theme settings tab here. This will open up the theme settings menu. From here, go ahead and scroll down to the social media drop down menu and you'll see several fields where you can add your social accounts. You can add your brand page from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, and tons more. To add a social account, simply go to the field that you wish to add and paste in the URL link to your brand page. Once you add a new social media link, you should see the icon appear in your footer. And when customers go to your footer and click one of your icons, they'll be taken directly to your brand page. Once you finish adding all of your social accounts, make sure you go up to the top right here and click the save button. And all of my changes have been saved. So now that I've added my brand pages, let's go to the icons here on the left and click the top icon to go back to the theme editor main menu. Let's scroll all the way back down to our footer and click the footer main tab to continue editing. So we've personalized our color scheme, added the follow on shop button and links to our social media brand pages. If you like, you can also enable your country or region selector, your language selector, and in the next section here, you can show the different payment methods that customers can use to check out from your store. If you select the checkbox here, your footer will display all the different payment icons that customers can use. If you like, you can also select to show your policy links, which will display links to your store's policies in the bottom of your footer. So once you're finished selecting all your different customization options, go ahead and go up to the top here and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. If we go back to the footer drop down menu at the bottom, we'll notice a tab here that says add block. If we click this, we can view various blocks that we can add to our footer. Blocks are basically different footer sections that can be added and arranged however you like. So let's click the top tab here and go over how to add a menu block to my footer. When I add a menu block, you'll notice the menu tab appear in the footer drop down menu and a preview of the menu block appear on the right. To customize our menu block, let's click the menu tab in the footer drop down menu. From here, you can update your menu heading and select the menu that you want to use. To change your heading, simply go to the text field up top here and type in whatever you want. And underneath your heading text field, you can select your menu. A default menu may already be selected, but to select a different menu, simply click the change button in the center here. And from the drop down menu, go ahead and click the change menu tab. From here, you can view all of the menus that you've created on Shopify and create a new menu if you like as well. When you select a new menu, you'll also notice your menu update on the preview on the right. So once you choose your menu, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click the select button. And my footer menu has been updated. So let's go up to the top here and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So my footer now has a menu to help customers navigate my store. So let's go back down to the footer drop down menu and see what else we can add. If I click the add block tab, we can see that the next block we can add to our footer is brand information. When I select this, the brand information tab will be added to the menu on the left and a new section or block will be added to your preview on the right. If we select the brand information tab, it'll take us to a menu where we can add our brand details and select to show our social media icons. To add our brand details, let's click the edit brand information link here. This will take you over to your theme settings. If you scroll down, you should see the brand information drop down menu. From here, go ahead and come up with a headline and a description for your brand. If you need help coming up with a description, keep in mind that you can use the Shopify generative text AI tool. Simply describe what you want the AI to write and you'll be provided with several suggestions that you can use. As you add your brand information, you'll notice it update in your footer on the right as well. In your brand information section, you also have the option to add an image. If you click the select image tab here, it'll open up a menu where you can view all the images that you've uploaded to Shopify and where you can add new images as well. For my image, I'm simply going to upload my brand logo. So let's go to the add images button here and find and open up my image. Once it finishes uploading, make sure you have it selected, then click the done button at the bottom right. And my image has now been added to the brand information block in my footer. If you need to adjust the size of your image, you can use the image width slider bar here. Using the slider bar, you can select the exact pixel size you want for your image. So once you've added your heading, your brand description, and your image, 
go ahead and go up to the top right here and click the save button and all of my changes and updates have been saved. So let's click the icon at the top left here and go back to the theme editor main menu. We can then scroll all the way back down to the footer section. So I've added a menu and a brand information block to my footer. So let's go back to the add block tab here and see what else we can do. The next block I can add to my footer here is a text block. When I select this, the text tab will be added to my footer drop down menu and the text block will be added to my preview on the right. If you click the text tab from the footer drop down menu, it'll open up a menu where you can add a heading and a subheading. You can use your text block to write anything that you wish. For example, it can be used to highlight important information such as store details, promotions, or your contact information. Once you finish adding your heading and your subtext, go ahead and click the back button. So let's go back down to our footer, click the add block tab, and add the last block that we can add to our footer, which is an image. When you select to add an image block, you'll see the image tab appear in the footer drop down menu, and also the image block will appear in your footer on the right. To add an image, let's go to the image tab in the footer drop down menu. At the top here, go ahead and click select image. From the menu here, you can use the add images button to add a new image or search through the images that you've already uploaded to Shopify. Once you select your image, go ahead and click the done button at the bottom right. And my image has been added to my image block. To adjust the size of your image, you can use the image width slider bar here. Also, if you like, you can adjust your image alignment for large screens. So once you're finished adjusting your image, go ahead and click the back button. And all four available blocks have now been added to my footer. If you wanted to rearrange or edit any of your blocks, simply select it and use the icons at the bottom here. From here, you have the options to rearrange, duplicate, hide, or delete your blocks. Feel free to rearrange your blocks and customize your footer however you like. For my footer, I think I'm gonna hide my image and delete my text. And I think I'll move my menu to the left side of my footer. There we go. Take your time and get your footer exactly the way you want it. So for my footer, I have my email sign up section, my menu block, my brand details block, my social media icons, my follow on shop button, my payment methods, and my policy links. Before continuing, go ahead and use the icons up top here to make sure your footer looks good on all devices. Your mobile layout will be a bit different, so you want to check it out just in case you need to make any changes. But if everything looks good, go ahead and go up to the top right here and click the save button. And my new footer has now been saved. So that's a quick overview of how to customize your Shopify store footer. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Shopify Don theme customization tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.